Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I wanted to make a short video explaining a useful editor callback in Unity. On post process all assets. If you have ever wanted to automatically build a game database and keep it up to date, this function will be very helpful. I made this project with Unity 2020.1.4 F1. The gist is, if Unity detects a change in the files in your asset folder, it will call on post process all assets. The function receives lists of new, deleted, changed, and moved assets for you to do what you want with. In order to listen to this callback, first make sure that you create an editor folder. Any scripts contained within will only run in the editor and will not be included in your final game. Next, create a new C Sharp script. For now, call it My Asset Post Processor. Here is the completed My Asset Post Processor script. You can copy the text from a link in the video description. First off, make sure your class inherits from Asset Post Processor. Then create an on post process all assets function. It's important that the function is marked static and named correctly. Cases do matter. Next, it must have these four string array arguments. The four arguments contain information about file changes. The imported assets array contains paths to new files. The deleted assets array contains paths to files Unity cannot find anymore. The moved assets and moved from asset paths arrays have information about moved files. The first contains the file's new path, while the second contains the file's old path. Keep in mind that entries with the same index in the array track the same file. There are a few other things to remember. If Unity detects that a file's contents have changed, it treats that file as new. Unity will include it in the imported assets array, but not the deleted assets array. Also, the paths in all four arrays are relative to the asset folder of your project. Here's an example of how I would use on post process all assets. Say I have a large database of data files for my game. It's easy for me to view and edit this database, but it's slow for the game to look up information during runtime. To get the best of both worlds, I want to compile the database into another form automatically whenever I change it. So I need Unity to notify me whenever it detects any changes to the files in the data folder. I need to check all the arrays for any paths containing asset data. These two scan functions do the work. And if they find any changes, I know to recompile the runtime database. For now though, I'll just print a debug message. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this trick will be useful to you. If it was, please leave a like. That tells YouTube it should recommend this tutorial to others. Do you plan to use the on post process all assets callback in your project? Are there any other topics you'd like me to make a video about? Thanks again for watching and make games.